With regard to the background and the conception of the veil, it's called a veil for a reason. And uh, this was known amongst the, uh, the community, schizophrenia community. It was called the Bridge of Death. People came from across the country to commit suicide here. So while, you know, all the time working on the veil, I grappled with this, the kind of darkness of the story and how to bring a little light to the bereaved, which of course takes time. So the veil was conceived as this tremulous threshold between life and death, almost like a musical instrument that was played by the wind. I wanted to keep it as open and transparent as possible so we had these great views of the valley. And I wanted to keep that threshold between the sidewalk and the valley below, that fatal threshold, absolutely empty and tremulous. So you have strings on both sides. The outer array is a suicide barrier. The inner array has a lyrical movement. So that when you're moving across the bridge, they're always moving in parallax, and there's a play and flicker, and you get the sense of aliveness as you drive. And of course, I was influenced in thinking about the veil, not only by its history, but also by great literature. Uh, and especially Michael Andachi's In the Skin of the Lion. There's a moment in the, in the novel when uh, a group of nuns are disoriented. Uh, they get off a bus, the wind is blowing, and one of them walks in the wrong direction. And it's suddenly Throw, blown right across off the balustrade and there's a worker in his harness under the bridge hanging Temelkov is his name and Temelkov sees this black bird fall out of the sky and in that moment pure habit and intuition he grabs onto a steel bracing to secure his position and he catches this black bird out of the sky. It's a nun, her habit has fallen off, and he's looking at her straight in the face. And I thought to myself, that's what I want to do with the Lumen's Veil. I want to do it something that has the ease and grace of Temelkov, that allows you to still feel the threat of the fall, but to preserve the body. And with regard to the new phase of illuminating, that light will finally come into the veil at night. And it's a gentle light. It's not uh, the kind of lighting you'll see on most bridges, but it's delicate and light, and it responds to the shifting moods of the bridge. So the bridge has this dark history, and it also has a great luminous possibility in the future.